What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. We are bringing you guys a guide, a guide on the best way to obtain money in this game. It is the quickest, most efficient, and basically a way to get unlimited money in this game. If you guys do enjoy the guide, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the guides and makes me want to do more guides for you guys. And if you guys do have any guide ideas for me, leave me in the comment section down below i would love to do like a shiny hunting guide a breeding guide a rare spawn guide just let me know in the comment section down below but i know what you guys are probably thinking jeans what are you doing what is going on with your team down in the uh the team preview you have five patch of just dancing around tail whip around and we will get to that later we will get to that later but no they are very important they are very important they're not requirements but they are important if you guys want to get the most out of doing this but this uh thing this money guide i don't even know what they call it has three requirements you have to a have the versus seeker the versus seeker is actually obtained after the second gym i believe it's the second gym you have to uh beat the second gym and then you get the pokedex back from team galactic for dawn so you want the versus seeker and you want to register it to a slot the second requirement is you are going to want to have the amulet coin the amulet coin is actually being held by my empoleon as you guys can see in the top left corner so what that item does is it doubles your prize money at the end of every single battle. So it is very, very useful for this thing. Third requirement is you are going to want to beat the fourth gym because you cannot make it to this area where we do this money guide without beating the fourth gym. So you want to beat the fourth gym in Bottlestone City. And if you guys want to know where to get the amulet coin is, it is actually in Hearthrum City in Amenity Square. So just go to the Amenity Square, walk around there. It is in a Pokeball in that place. But once you get all those requirements done, you're going to want to actually go over here. I'm going to take my bike because it's a little down the way. You want to go over here and to the down route down here. Like I said, you cannot unlock this until you beat the fourth gym. And we will get to the patch resources in a little bit. They are very helpful and very good at like maximizing the most benefits out of this uh, guide here. But uh, we're going to go over here, run past all the trainers. We already beat them all. And we are going to go down and you are going to see an old lady and an old man. And they are just chilling right here. So the first thing we want to actually do is clear our pokey step counter. Because we want to go 100 steps, that's how many steps it takes to actually charge the Versus Seeker. So we're going to go over here, do 100 steps, and once we get 100 steps done, we will use the Versus Seeker. And if you guys do not know what the Versus Seeker does, it allows you to replay battles from uh, people that you already battled before. So we're going to go over here, go to our register, use our Versus Seeker. And look at that, we actually got lucky. Both these trainers want to rebattle, so we are going to battle both these trainers. And the best part about these trainers are they have one Pokemon each, making the battle super, super quick. So we're going to hop in here. This chick has a Rosalia. The other guy has it, uh, what is it called? A, the, the bird, the musical bird. I'm going to have to see it to name it. Something with a C. Something with a C. I forget the name, but Rosalia is over here. We're going to make this battle as quick as possible. We are rolling with my Empoleon right here. I'm just going to drop a nice little ice beam, finish the, this thing off, and finish the battle. So... Originally, these people actually pay out a lot of money, but with the amulet coin, we get an even greater amount of money. It is doubled and it is super easy to obtain. So look at that. We take it out real quick and we grab ourselves. See it? Let's see it. 16,320 Poke Dollars. That is a ridiculous amount. And this guy actually wants to battle us too. It is actually a little bit rare to get both of these people to battle you at the same time. But most of the time, one person is going to want to battle you every single 100 steps. That's why I tell you guys to turn on your little Poke counter. But we're going to go over here. He's going to drop Shadot. I totally forgot this Pokemon's name. But he's chilling here. We get to kill him. We get to obtain the money. So both these people pay out the same amount. They both pay 16,320, which is a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash considering how fast it takes to actually defeat these trainers. It's probably like you are versus one of these trainers once every minute by doing this uh, tutorial. So there we go. We finished him off. And now what we want to do is just rinse, repeat the cycle. And we can do this as many times as we want. Honestly, it's as many times as you want. You can sit here for six hours if you want it and keep doing this guide right here. But look at this. We're going to go back here. We're at, say, 117 steps. We're going to want to get to 217. So we're just going to go around the circle. The bike is the fast way to get steps. That's why I'm using it. Go around here, hit 217, hit the pause button, use our first or seeker, and one person wants to battle us this time. So sometimes it's one person, sometimes it's both, sometimes it's the other person, and sometimes, very rarely though, none of them will want to verse you. And when none of them want to verse you, you just do another 100 steps and you use the versus seeker again. But let's get to my patch of Risu. We have a bunch of patch of Risus in my party for one reason and one reason only. Their pickup ability. So if you guys do not know what pickup does, every time they go into a battle or just being in the party, they have a 10% chance to actually pick up an item. And it could be any random item. And 
it actually depends on their level, which is pretty cool. The higher level they are, the rare items they can pick up. And 60, I wouldn't say 60 is the max, but 60 is like the the number that they can get every single item at. So when we are at 60, they can actually have a 1% chance of picking up bottle caps. And bottle caps are huge for uh, team building and making your Pokemon as strong as they possibly be. So that is exactly why we have these patch of Risus in here in order to try to get battle caps. And sometimes they pick up other items too. It is actually really rare for them to pick up bottle caps. But let's actually see if they picked up any items. And you guys, they got nothing. They got nothing. So let's do this again. I actually want to show you guys patch of Risus actually grabbing some, uh, some items. But they will grab a bunch of different items and stuff. And you can actually sell them and get more money out of it, which is really, really cool. But look at that. Another 100 steps. Both these guys want to verse us. Yo, that is crazy. Look how quick this is. We go back into battle with them, and we get right after it. But, yo, dude, the patch of Risus is where it's at. But you can actually do this game non-post game or post game, but you get more money post game. If you're doing this pre-post game, you get 8,000 per battle. If you're doing this post game, you get 16,000, which is, which is crazy. It's like, you can honestly sit here. I think in, like, an hour, you can get over half a million Poké Dollars. It is the fastest, like I said, most efficient, unlimited money in this game. It is so good. Look at that. There we go. Rosalia, dead, gone. Hopefully our patch of can pick up something cool for us just so we can showcase it. But they have a 1% chance of getting that rare bottle cap. And that is exactly why we are using them. But you have to get that ability for them. Pick up. They have two abilities. Actually, they have three. Their hidden ability, which is Volt Absorb. Their other one, which is Run Away. And then Pick Up as their other one, which isn't too hard. You can actually find patch of level 16 over in post game in the dens so i think it's spacious cave and the wintry cove the wintry cove i think it's called the whiteout cove one of the winter places is where you get the patch of Reese's. but like i said post game you get them over level 60 and it benefits from being over level 60 because it can pick up bottle caps only level 60 and above patch Reese's can pick up bottle caps but let's take out the shout out right here and keep rolling from here and keep rolling from here it is that simple that's pretty much everything about this guy i just want to show you guys it real quick Hopefully you guys can use it. Hopefully you guys can benefit it from it. And another thing I want to say is when you verse the Shadot and the Rosalia, each of them will give you effort value. EBs, if you guys know about that, they are beneficial for your Pokemon. The Shadot actually gives you attack EBs and the Rosalia actually gives you special attack EBs. So if you want to EB train while doing this as well, you can special attack train with Rosalia and you could attack train with the Shadot. But there we go. Grab some money. Let's see if we got any items here. Look at this, look at this. He picked me up a max potion. So what I like to do is just go into here, go to held items, put in bag. Awesome, dope, cool. And then once again, you look at your steps. I need about 442 to actually trigger this thing again. So we're going to do this one more time for you guys and then finish off the guide. But hopefully this was informative for you guys. Hopefully you guys did learn something. And hopefully you guys are using this to get a boatload of cash. But look at this. I'm actually glad we caught that on clip. None of them want to battle with us, which is totally fine, which means we do another 100 steps. We do another lovely 100 steps. I think it was 52 was the number. We're going to go a little bit above just to make sure that we hit that 100 mark. And now we're going to go here, hit the Versus Seeker, and she wants to verse again. So like I said, guys, just sit here, rinse, repeat it, and you guys will get unlimited money to do whatever. Personally, I'm going to be using this to buy the Carbos, the Irons, the Proteins, all that good stuff to EB train all of my Pokemon. You can actually buy them in the third floor of the mall. So if you guys were wondering about that, definitely, uh, definitely go up there. Definitely go up there to get all those items. I think the mall has tons of stuff. It has great TMs has all the EV training things and just has like every item in general. But let's say I got this Rosalia and actually grab ourselves our last boatload of cash. Come here, baby. Give me that. Give me that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, you can honestly sit here for like hours at a time. Not even. Just like 30 minutes. Do it for 30 minutes. You get tons of cash. And occasionally, if you're doing it with like how I'm doing it with the patch of Risus, you will get some really good items. You get shiny stones, dawn stones, bottle caps, rare candies, a bunch of different good items you can get from the patch of Risus. But let's actually see if they got me anything. Come on, show me something good. Show me a bottle cap. Nope, they didn't get me anything. Like I said, it's 10% chance. So occasionally, they'll grab you something really good. You guys already know where I'm going with my money. 9,800 for one bottle of these EV trainers right here. I could buy 50 of them, but I will be a broke boy after that. So that means I got to go back to that place and keep grinding my money. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you guys did learn something. And hopefully you guys are racking up your cash. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.